first time we met, she oppositioned me. She seemed so sure. I find every role challenging, whatever part I'm playing, because you try and give everything you can to it. I was sure. It was so shy. I couldn't be more happy. I, I kind of pinch myself still. And mysterious. And I hope the audience will share and be moved in, in this incredible pioneer story. And learn a little bit about a subject that is very important, the transgender experience. Is there something you'd like to tell me? Is there something you'd like to know? I'm your wife. I know everything. The Danish Girl was my first book. It came out um, 15 years ago. And the movie's been in development since then. When Tom, uh, you know, called and said, you have your director, then the, that's when the movie really became real. Could you help me with something? You will not tell anyone about this. I first read the script late 2008 when I was in early preparation for the King's Speech, and I, I really fell in love with it. Although that seems like a long wait, and now it seems like it was something that was meant to happen, that the film would come together with this group of filmmakers. Hello there. <laughs> We're going to call you Lily. Both Eddie and Tom are, you know, artists that I truly respect. Tom has such eye for not just the cinematography and, and very, you know, much the physical aspect and the music. And, but I also love that he was always able to kind of pinpoint, um, you know, emotional intelligence and in the, the, what Eddie and I try to perform in certain scenes. I want to sketch you. Eddie is just one of the most humble and sensitive and he just brings such calm which really makes you able to push and dare to try new things. We should go out tonight. I read about Lily almost 20 years ago and I was so moved by her story of courage and uh, her um, desire to be herself and to become herself. I think what always inspired me was that first reading and how I, I wept for Lily's story and was really moved by the love story. This felt like a privilege though, above and beyond anything. It's an actor's dream to get to play someone as iconic and, and extraordinary as Lily Elder. She's a trans pioneer and she forged a life for herself when there really weren't very many role models and there really weren't many paths for her to follow. She had to figure it out on her own. You're different from most girls. I feel I'd need to ask your permission before I kissed you. The way we tell the story of the transgender experience is by a, through a love story of a husband and wife. And I think um, a lot of women especially will identify with the wife. Exactly what happened last night. There was a moment when I wasn't me. Thinking, what would I do if I was in this position? How would I handle it? There are many things that attract one to a project like this, but, but among them was the opportunity to, to, to write the character of, of, of Gerda, who is an extremely powerful and groundbreaking modern woman, but who is also extraordinarily compassionate. You know, we were very lucky to get Alicia to come and um, be Gerda for us because she has a lot of the same qualities. The fact is, I believe that I'm a woman. And I believe it too. One of the reasons why there are so many uh, trans stories being told right now in books and, and film and television is that each is different, each journey is unique, each is interesting, we learn something new, but I'm glad that uh, the Danish girl can be part of that conversation. You're the only person who made sense of me.